to my mudroom today. I need to clean this. It is a disaster. It still has summer stuff in it, like beach towels. And as a family of six, this is where we all come in. The garage is right here. This is a coat closet. But stuff just gets thrown here. And I actually have a secret to share with you in a minute. So this is the Ikea Pax system. I absolutely love it. Um, there's two of them right here. What I love is that these slide out. I mean, everything is customizable. So we have these ones slide out for our kids' shoes, and then we put baskets down here for coats and socks. That is a great tip I have for you. Keep your socks by the door. It doesn't make sense to have them up in your dresser when you're not putting your shoes out of there. So keep your socks by the door. Their hats and gloves masks are in there um, and then we have our beach towels are here which is really nice in the summer to just be able to grab them and I have random popcorn yeah we need to fix that our winter basket of winter stuff so when it's summertime and we're not using this I can just set this way up there on the top shelf um, my kids backpacks go here but it has just gotten cluttered with random things. I mean, project stuff just gets thrown here and that doesn't get taken out. We have like 10 bottles of sunscreen, which we don't need to use right now. And do you want to know my secret? I have a Monica closet. My Monica closet, it is just filled with stuff. When my kids are home, all the coats get thrown on the floor in there and it is a huge messy pile. I want to show you my rug because there's something really neat about it and we're just going to clean this space up today. I also wanted to mention that you can add doors to the pack system which makes it really nice if you want to hide all your stuff behind them. This is the rug in my mudroom and it is from a company called Ruggable and it is actually washable and I have one of these in my kitchen as well. It's really nice. There are two layers to this rug. The bottom layer on one side attaches to the rug and it also has a grippy side underneath to keep it secure to the floor. Alright, one of the first things I'm going to do is make a pile of everything that doesn't belong in here. So if I have stuff that needs to go outside, I'm going to put it in a pile. The beach towels will go in another pile because those are going to go upstairs. I have a Nerf gun. <laughs> that will go in the basement. So I'm going to put that in a different pile. Before I continue, I'm going to take the time to put this stuff where it goes so it's out of here and it can start to be less cluttered. Now I have all the clutter cleared out, I'm going to take my Thieves spray. This is Thieves essential oil mixed with water and then just like an e-cloth and I'm just going to clean off these upper shelves so that I know that my kids are outgrowing some of their winter gear, so I need to go through it. Donate anything that is savable, throw away anything that's not, and then order anything that they may need. I know my daughter needs some nice shoes for church. and. my gloves together like little balls. All right so now that my baskets are empty I have a few options on what I could do. I could do hats in one, gloves in the other. I could do boys and girls. I could do kids and adults. What worked really well this past 
year is to put them each in their own drawers. So I have four kids. They each have their own drawer down here that either has light jackets, um, maybe they have some school supplies, sunglasses, their socks and masks. So I will put each of their hats and gloves in their own baskets. That way they don't have to rummage through anything. They can find them easily. These will be for me and my husband. I only need one of these for us because we don't have that much. Um, so I will have one empty in case I find something else that needs to go in here. Alright, that was super easy. My husband has a side, hats and gloves, and I have a hat and two gloves. That's all nice and easy, and I'm going to put it on this shelf right here so that I can easily reach it. For now, I'm going to put this one right next to it in case I do need it for something. If not, I'll put it back up on the top because extra room would be great. All right, now I'm gonna go through our shoes and we still have some summer shoes out. I do like to leave a pair out in case we were to go to Great Wolf Lodge or some indoor pool. This would be nice to have. I wouldn't wanna throw them away or pack them away and not have them. What's really nice about the PAX system is they have these, and they're fabric, but they fit perfectly in this space, and so it protects the drawer a little bit, which is really nice. doing this because I'm realizing that my kids need some more shoes. I like to have two pairs of tennis shoes for each, a pair of church shoes. We do keep our rain boots and snow boots outside in the garage because what mom wants wet boots inside. Um, so now I need to go through my husband's and my shoes right here. We were going to keep them in the closet but again we just haven't built a system yet. And I do need to run back to Ikea at some point and get some more of these felt pads. They're just so nice to protect it. Right now I just have paper towel, but I will need to do that soon. my most worn shoes down here. Any like dressier ones that I have are up in my closet. I also like to keep a pair of sandals for myself out year round, again, in case we go swimming. But if I just wanna run out to the mailbox really quick, even though it's 20 degrees outside, it's just nice to have those there. close. Um, I do want to show you that I have this bag up here at the top and I use this for snacks for my kids. So if we're going to go somewhere and be gone for a few hours, I can just easily grab this. My snack area is right around the corner. I can fill it up and toss it in the car. Let's tackle these drawers and get rid of anything that is out of season or that my kids don't fit into anymore. I keep their socks. These were also from Ikea. They go in the Ikea dressers. I think that I could probably find something that fits a little better, but I had so many of these, I just used what I had. We 
are almost done. So I keep this basket here that has essentials in it for when we leave. I put this thieves oil on the kids' feet. We have car keys, a doggy bag, some chapstick, adult sunglasses, Gorilla Glue. Um, <laughs> I need to go through here and reorganize this but it's nice to have a little basket by the door for your keys and sunglasses and whatever you just need to grab really quickly like nerf bullets you may need those so i will start through that we're looking good i'm excited i am going to take the time and clean the baseboards there's still some like dirt around the edges so i'm going to clean the floor i'm also going to do a quick wipe down of the walls because kids coming in and out of the door with dirty hands, they touch the walls and they just need a little wipe down. to being done I have the walls wiped down the baseboards wiped down I do keep my kids backpacks out here something that they use five days a week while I love hiding things it's just something that needs to be used every day I'd rather keep it out so either me or my kids can just grab it really easily I, I'm going to mop this space now that the rug is not here this is the best mop ever it's electric and it is a Amazing. I will link it below because it's like the one thing that I basically can't live without now. cleaning my mudroom with me today it feels so good to have this done again when you do a space just get it all nice and clean even the baseboards and the floor and maybe even the walls if you need to it just it feels so much better when you're done and now on to the next project